Well, good morning, YouTube. Coming to you from a slightly different venue this morning, down here in the basement. And I'm going to do a short video on a project I did a week or so ago. I thought this might help some folks avoid some of the pitfalls that I did. And what we're trying to do here is put in a second door chime down here in the basement. So that we're down here, somebody rings the front and rear doors, uh, front and back doors. We can hear the doorbell down here. So there's a chime on the first floor right above us. You can't hear that one when somebody rings the doorbell if you're down here watching TV or something. So I did a little searching on YouTube and whatnot, and I found how to wire uh, one chime to two buttons, and I found how to wire one button to two chimes, but no uh, information on wiring two buttons to two chimes. Now, uh, a lot of you out there would probably say, well, that's dumb. You know how to do that. If you do one, you can do the other. Well, that's probably true. And uh, I eventually did figure it out. And, but I cut a couple wires that I shouldn't have cut or didn't need to cut. Uh, and I've got to put those back together. So we're going to show you what, how I did this. And then you'll understand now how to do two buttons, two chimes. So stay tuned. The first thing I needed to do was find out where the transformer was. And I found it right here in this uh, false ceiling here and it's attached to a, a floor joist on an electrical box. And I did that, I located that by, went upstairs, looked at the upstairs chime, couldn't find any transfer up there. So then I came down here and looked about where that wire right there comes from the up door, out, uh, upstairs chime. And so I followed that wire, traced it, and you'll see that it got cut, and more on that later, because that was part of the, uh, one of the, uh, early attempts at making this all work and I trace it over and it goes to this transformer right here there's our new chime right there so I mounted that and then ran a three conductor wire through this suspended ceiling over to the transformer area so all's good so my first thought was I can just wire right into that chime that comes from the top floor and wire it and connect it right there. Well, that didn't work real well. And still couldn't get enough juice coming through to ring the, the downstairs chime as good as it should have rung. Then I found out that contributing to that problem was probably that the transformer was uh, underpowered. This is the old transformer. And it's a 16 volt, uh, 10 amp transformer. And the early things that I read, you got to have a higher power transformer. So I went out and I found another one at the local electric supply store and it's uh, 16 volt 30 amps. Should be plenty of power. So I've got the transformer mounted in there. Uh, it's connected into that metal box. Cut the power off to this particular circuit. I highly recommend doing that. And got the transformer wired. Figured out where the wires were coming in from the two buttons. Okay, we're going to do a little recap here. All right, this wire right here is from the rear doorbell. It's a little bit jumbled up here. This wire is from the front doorbell. This one goes to the upstairs chime. This one goes to the downstairs chime. Now, so first of all, from your doorbells front or excuse me rear and front you've got the white lead connected to the transformer and then the other lead is connected in this case to the red lead for both chimes which is rear door and then on the from the front button you've got it connected to the red wire for each chime which is the front door and then of course the chime also is connected with the um, to the transformer with the white lead coming from the ch each of the chimes. All right. Okay. Now I want to make sure this works, so I'm going to have my able-bodied assistant upstairs. She's going to go ring the back doorbell. Okay, that's the back door. And there's the front door. Now the front door is denoted by a ding-ding, the back door is just one ding. 
So anyway, now we can hear this, uh, hear the doorbell ring down here when the company comes. Hopefully this is helpful for some of you out there that might be looking to connect two chimes to two buttons. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've got any comments, send them along. Take care. Wait for the next project. Stay tuned.